Let's talk a little bit about your podcasting goals. I don't know if you're a goal setter, but it's something that's really important in my world. From the moment I get up in the morning, from the moment I go to sleep, I'm constantly trying to cross things off my list. I'm one of those crazy like list builders and I love just checking things off my list. And for me, going into podcasting, I had to have a set of goals and I had to be able to track my progress. And I think that's really important because creating a podcast isn't really that difficult to do once you have, you know, the basics, but maintaining that podcast and doing it week after week, month after month, year after year, can get a little bit grueling, right? It's just like anything in life. It's really fun in the beginning, and then after a while you're like, oh, I got a podcast. Hopefully you don't feel that way. <laughs> but you have to kind of have goals to kind of keep you on pace. So let's talk a little bit about that. If you have downloaded the My Podcast Plan PDF, this is a great time to pull that out because we're gonna go through really most of the items on the first page. You've probably already filled out your five podcasts, the names of the podcasts you're currently doing research on that you're listening to instead of music. Remember the last video? So you've got that listed on your form already. But now I really want you to think about why you're doing this podcast. And I know what some of you are thinking. You're thinking your friend said to you, oh, Sonny, you have such a great voice. You should totally do a podcast. Well, you may have a great voice and congratulations if you do. That can take you a long way in podcasting, but it's not gonna get you to where you need to be. It really does have to come from a personal goal and something that you really want to accomplish, okay? So let's talk about that a little bit. On the My Podcast Plan, you see three spaces, right? Three lines. And the question is, I'm creating a podcast because. And I want you to take the time and really think about why you're doing this. I want three reasons why. I'm gonna give you an example. So I first started podcasting about 15 years ago, and I originally started working on other people's content. The podcasts that I was creating were focused on parents and families, and it was great because it was a time in my life where my husband and I, we were getting ready to have our first child, right? And I really didn't know anything about raising a baby. I didn't know a lot about being pregnant, but my background was in radio and television, and so I knew how to interview people. So in thinking back what my top three reasons were, my first reason was because I personally needed the information. I could just call my doctor's office or, you know, schedule a phone call with a nurse or something like that, but why not share this information with everybody else? My second reason is that, honest to goodness, I needed a break from motherhood and being pregnant. I needed to, you know, once my kids were born, I have four kids now, by the way, but once my first child was born, I kind of needed to step aside from motherhood every now and again and think of something different. And because I had the background in media, I could put on my media glasses, if you will, and even though I was recording content that was focused on pregnancy and parenting, I could still utilize other skills. It wasn't taking care of a baby, you know? My husband was doing that while I was recording. But it allowed me to think of something else and focus on something else that wasn't just the day-to-day -day work that I was doing as a brand new mom. And reason number three for me was because I knew that once I had my children, I was going to take a break from doing the type of work that I had been doing to be at home. And I wanted to keep my resume active, right? Because I had this background in media. If I was still doing something at home to keep up those skills, because you know, once you get out of the workforce, sometimes it's really hard to get back in, right? There, there's a million other people that have been keeping the resume up and doing amazing things while you're at home. And it was really important for me to spend that time at home but I knew I was gonna have to jump back into the workforce at some point. And so I thought, this is a great way to keep up my resume. So now that you know my three, what would your three be? What are three reasons that you're doing this podcast? Now, the next thing I want you to think about are your podcasting goals. And I want you to think about this in increments. Think about the first three months, 
the first six months, as well as the first year of your podcast. Now, I'm gonna give you some ideas, and you can certainly have other goals besides this, but here are some of the common things that most podcasters say. You wanna grow your audience, that's great. In fact, guys, I've never met a podcaster that has said, no, nah, you know what? My audience is big enough, I don't wanna grow my podcast anymore. So if you do say that, you're in good company. But I want you to assign a number to it. And it's not that it has to be a specific number, because it's kind of hard to say, I'm gonna grow my podcast by 1,050 listeners a month. No, do this in percentages, right? So if you're gonna say grow your audience, say I'm gonna grow my audience by 50%. I wanna grow my audience by 20%, whatever seems reasonable to you. The next idea, get your first advertiser. A lot of people wanna make money with their podcasts, right? So perhaps you wanna start incorporating advertisers at a certain point. Another idea to bring in money is to create a membership program. Let's say, you know, just throwing this out there, that within six months, you wanna launch a membership program. Maybe that could be a goal for you. If this is related to your business, right? If you are using your podcast as a marketing tool to bring in clients for your business, one goal could be to lead to speaking gigs, right? People are already hearing you on a podcast. They can hear your voice. They can hear your cadence and how you interact with other people. In theory, that is a great platform to be able to launch into speaking gigs. So perhaps you wanna get your first speaking gig within the first year of your podcast. Maybe, in general, you just wanna bring in more clients. And I think this is a great place to, to again, assign some sort of number or percentage to that so you're creating you know, goals that you can really monitor and manage. What defines success for you and this podcast? And you can see on your form, there is a section that says, my podcast will be a success if, and there's three lines. So I want you to really think about, you know, at the end of this year, let's just take a year for example, think about the first year of your podcast. If you accomplished what three things would you say at the end of that year, you know what, this is a success, right? And it doesn't, you know, everybody's, everybody's uh, plans are a little bit different. You know, it, it's not that you have to have millions of subscribers and you know, your, your idea of success may be completely different than somebody else and that is fine. Like, you know, I would have thought with my podcast, hey, as long as I didn't fall into postpartum depression, <laughs> right, from not being able to go out and interact with people in the real world, you know, and I had a chance to keep up my resume and, and things like that, that would have defined success for me. It really had nothing to do with how many people were listening and, and developing and, and creating a, a monetization program and eventually making some good money with my podcast. That was a bonus, okay? But that was not my goal in the beginning. So your overall idea of success can be very simple and that's okay. But these are the things that you're gonna look at throughout the year when you go, man, there are so many other things I'd rather do right now but then you know, create a new podcast episode. You're gonna look at this list and you're gonna go, no, 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 no. I wanna reach this goal. I wanna accomplish this. This is important to me. So this is going to help motivate you throughout your podcast journey.